Brian from CNR Reviews. Wanted to do a quick review today on the Kimber Custom 2 that I picked up uh, the other day for about uh, $679. It's got a black kind of Duracoat finish. Uh, I'm not sure if it's Duracoat or actually Parkerization or, or something like that. It is a, it's kind of a tough matte finish on it. It's not shiny. You can, the light kind of catches it a little bit here, but it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a good looking gun. It also has a match barrel on it, match grade barrel on there, um, full length metal guide rod. Uh, it is a one piece guide rod. I know sometimes they have two piece guide rods in there. It is a 45 ACP, and it is super accurate. At about 50 feet to 25 yards, I'm getting about one to two inch groupings out of it. I've only shot about 200 rounds out of it though, so it's a. Uh, it's not even broken in yet. Kimber actually recommends that you, you put about 300 rounds through these to actually break them in. What it came with for, um, for grips here, just kind of these basic rubber grips. They, they feel okay. Um, I actually switched them out here. Went for the, the, the Hogue wraparound rubber grips. Uh, helped me control a little bit better. So. As far as safety goes, first of all, the gun has a couple different safeties. It has the beaver tail safety on it, uh, and it also has a manual safety, but the manual safety or the thumb safety will only engage if the hammer is pulled back. So if it's not, I'm going to dry fire here. Oh, see, it won't, won't let you dry fire without having that beaver tail pushed in. If, you, if the, the hammer is up, it won't engage the thumb safety won't actually fully go up so you have to have it cocked in states that require a gun lock Kimber does provide a cable lock here um, I I actually replaced this with a trigger lock because I don't really like having my gun cocked back all the time kinda of puts a little bit of extra pressure on the, the the spring up here and it does come with one magazine also uh, seven round mag. I went out and purchased some Kim Pro um, tack mags that hold eight rounds. Uh, stainless steel finish on them. They go in really well and they eject really well. So haven't had any, any problems with failure to feed or anything like that um, on any of these, the black or the stainless. So mine also came with a very nice Kimber case. Uh, this is this is the nicest one that I picked up, from the Berettas to the Stogers, to the Zastava, any of those. This is the nicest case that we've gotten, uh, and uh, it's pretty big. You can hold the gun, bullets, a whole bunch of accessories, and a whole bunch of other good things. Another thing that I picked up was this little this little thing. Um, this is a, 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 a bushing compensator. Now, it's not heavy enough to actually do anything for recoil, um, recoil wise on, on the 45 ACP. It just kind of looks cool. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys how to, how to actually put that in. So, what you do here is Kimber does supply this, this little tool. And what that, that's used for is actually taking this, uh, this front bushing off. And what you do is you just kind of press in. You can go over the whole bushing. Uh, what I like to do is actually just use it to press down on the spring guide here and then turn the turn the bushing with my fingers so I can actually have a little bit more control over this. This will shoot out at pretty high velocity. I actually have a, a circle that exact shape in my ceiling from when it popped out the first time and, uh, and left the, the imprint in the ceiling. So watch out wear eye protection if you're going to be over the gun so anyway you turn it back the opposite way and you can just pull the bushing straight out now with the bushing compensator it replaces the old bushing so you can just pop that in twist it around take your spring put your spring back in push your spring down Use your tool to press it down all the way, locking your bushing, and there you go. There's your bushing compensator on there. 
it looks cool. It doesn't really do anything for accuracy or and and again, it's not heavy enough to actually reduce any of the recoil on the gun. It just it looks kind of cool, just for shits and giggles. Um, so anyway, I would buy this gun again in a heartbeat, and I'm actually thinking of picking up the three-inch version for a carry pistol because I'm so impressed with this gun. I'm also planning on getting some uh, Meprolite night sights for this. The sights on this do, they're, they're not combat sights. They don't have any type of marking at all. Um, you just kind of have to fill the silhouette here and, and pray. <laughs> but again, they're very, very accurate. And I, I didn't think they were going to be, but they, they really are. So I'm, I'm hoping that the Meprolites are just as accurate when I actually replace these. So um, that'll be in a future review. Um, thanks for listening. This is Iron Man.